Hi, in previous lesson, we have learned how to create a simple 3D model from a 2D sketch. We also learned how to add on a 3D model on top of a 3D model surface. Okay, and today we're going to learn something new. We're going to learn how to remove a portion of a solid model by sketching on it and then using the function extrude cut to remove the area that we want. Let's see how we are going to go about doing this. I am going to use the same 3D model from the previous lesson. I'm going to select this surface to draw. I will, will click on it. I select create 2D. Okay, I am going to use a rectangular this time. I click on the surface that I want. I click. And I drag, I drag the distance that I want, and I click again. So maybe I'll use the dimension to specify the exact position of this rectangular. I will click on this surface, and then I'll click on this surface, and I drag it out. Maybe I give it 10. I want to specify the height of this rectangular. I shall click on this surface. And then on this surface, and I drag it out, I give it 6. Now I'm going to click on Finish. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this portion okay, from this whole solid 3D rectangular cube, cuboid. I'm going to click on Extrude. Now, this time around, I'm going to change how this model will behave. I'm going to click on this particular one. You notice the change in color. This new rectangular that I've drawn. Okay, you change in color. I'll click on this surface. I'm not going to click on this surface. I'm going to click on this surface. You notice that it's coming out this way because there is this particular icon over here which is meant or which rather it says extrude. Now, if I were to click on this, right, you'll notice that it has reversed. It's actually cutting. You notice it's cutting. And I'm going to state the distance it's going to cut. Okay, I'm going to specify 30. And I click on OK. And you notice that I have removed a portion of the rectangular cuboid. Explore around. You can actually try other things. For example, if I'm going to draw another circle over here, I'm going to remove a portion of this solid surface in the shape of a circle. So what I should do is I click on create, create 2D. I click on the surface that I'm going to draw. I'm going to use circle. I'm going to draw it over here. Let's click on the surface that I want. I can specify the distance again. Click on dimension. I click on this surface to the center of the circle. I drag it out. Maybe now I put it as 5 and I want to position this. I click on this to the center of the circle. Maybe I put it as 3. Okay, and I want to reduce the size of this circle. I click on the circumference. I drag it out. I put as 3. And I'm done. Next, I click on finish sketch. I click on extrude. Okay, notice this is extrude. This will be extrude cut. I'm going to select the surface I want to remove. In this case, it will be this. I do not want to remove this. I just want to remove this. I click on it. You notice it's in the extrude function. If I were to use as cut, okay, it's cut through below. You can change the direction depend on what you want to use it for. Now I click on OK. I'll have a circle being cut through. Now I can actually draw that on this surface, or this surface, or on this surface. If I want to draw on this cylinder surface, I'm going to remove a portion of this. I want to draw on this. I'll click on Create, Create 2D, click on the cylinder surface. Maybe I draw one small little rectangular. I'll just place it anywhere. And I click Finish. Again, I click on Extrude. 
highlight the area that I want or click the area that I want okay you notice this model is coming out if I put an exclude card I change it to 15 and I click OK the rectangle will be in the or rather rectangle will be cut out from the cylinder play around and um, try something that you may like